Hello lovely simmers, it's Lex and welcome to another speed build here. I decided to do another kitchen. I know, I love doing kitchens. I love to cook, I love to bake, I love everything about being in a kitchen. So it's kind of, every time I make one of these, it's almost like making your dream kitchen every time that you build one. So, you know, that's always fun. Go ahead, start off as our usual, putting in our doors, putting in our windows. I kind of make my own bay windows at this point just because they don't have one super, super large like I wanted. So I do those kind of angled walls and then three straight ones and just put in a bunch of windows so we get a lot of nice natural light in there. I did up my graphics a little bit so we'll have better uh, light coming through the windows and stuff. So hopefully that's looking good for you guys and everything's improved a little bit. I decided I was going to kind of section this kitchen off from the dining area. Uh, a lot of the times when I make kitchens, I do a kitchen slash dining room. I don't usually make kitchens where it's just a kitchen. And if I do, they always end up having uh, at least bar seating in them as well. So there's never really just a kitchen. If you guys hear any weird ambient sounds in the background, I have a kitten and he is crazy. He's just been and running around and causing trouble and getting into things and being bad but he's just a baby so he doesn't know that he's being awful at the moment I have two older cats as well and they don't super get along with this little guy yet so we have him separated he's only about 10 or 11 weeks old he's just a little tiny guy and our one cat that we have weighs about 13 pounds so we kind of just don't want any fights we want to keep them away from each other if we can for as long as we can just so that nobody's fighting with anybody and you know causing any problems and unnecessary injuries with little baby kitty cats but if you hear anything weird it's totally strider just being a crazy kitty cat uh, so I did end up doing like a black and yellow kind of theme with this one. Kind of switched up the style of the cabinets on the end there because I wanted to have almost like a little china hutch on the end. So when your Sims are sitting there and they could admire all their beautiful dishes and all of their lovely serving ware and blah, 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 all that good stuff. So here's a little pop of yellow for our black and yellow kitchen here. We do have a little bit of bar seating in there. Originally on this side of that half wall, I was going to put a little pantry, but I wasn't really happy with any of the shelving options that were in there. So we ended up doing just a little seating area instead. There's another little touch of yellow with a side table and everything that has been placed in the room so far has been done with the move objects cheat turned off. Uh, so everything in here should be totally fine, totally functional. Um, this room will be available for download on the gallery a little bit after I post this video. I generally will post the video first and then go back into my game and upload the room so that you guys can get it. Uh, I don't like to uh, post the room first because I put the link for the YouTube video in with the room and I don't want to have the room up but the video is not ready and it's just a little bit easier to do it this way. I wasn't happy with the wall color I had there so we're going to change it to a different little wood tone and I really like that wood tile that I used on the side there. There's just a couple little plants and I'm going to put in those cute little coffee teapot shelves there. I really like those because I am a huge coffee tea person. Anything that has to do with caffeine, I'm into it, ready to go. So there's that and then a little shadow box plant because I think that it's really nifty and I would love to have one of those in real life. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be like a live living plant in game or if it's just supposed to be a decorative plant, but whatever. I do end up putting a light kind of back behind where I put all those little coffee pots so it kind of shines light uh, not through everything but from behind it and it looks really nice this has been my new thing for kitchens too is putting those larger lights up above the cabinet so that they shine down underneath there's a bay window there that I added since uh, that is the bay window option that we have available I don't know if you guys know this but if you have the move object sheet on and you have one of those bay windows and you come sort of outside of the wall you can actually place things up into the window like I have there so you can take a peek at that from this belt if that's something that you've been trying to do but weren't sure how to do it there's that paper towel thing I was talking about that my best friend Nikki asked me about and thinks that I was a crazy person for putting paper towels all over the place and then deleting them. But like I said, it's because they snap into place and you have to fill all of those spots before you can use the Move Objects sheet on it to get it wherever you want it to be. Some pots and pans and then we're going to put, I believe... Um, one of those new shelving units from the dining pack that has all those little spoons and all those little serving platter kind of dishware thingies on it. And then we're going to do a knife block per usual because it's me. So there has to be clutter and junk all over the place. That's unnecessary. But I like to make things look more homey and more real. And, you know, like you could walk in there and feel more comfortable. It feels like a place that you'd want to be. It's welcoming and warm. So we're going to do, I think, a bowl of fruit. And that's pretty much it for in the actual kitchen area. I think I 
I'm going to put a couple little plants and things on that little half divider wall there. But now it's pretty much just putting in some art and just some more little final touches to make this room uh, complete because I'm not complete unless the walls are almost all covered in junk. No bare spaces for, for me. There has to be just kind of stuff everywhere. Um, I was also for a long time putting stuff up on top of the cabinets, just, you know, teapots, just random things to kind of fill up the space. But we're just going to do a couple more finishing touches here. Like I said, uh, here's some blinds here. I wish that we had blinds that you could put on a single angled wall. Like how I could, I, I would love to be able to connect all those blinds I had at the top there, but it just looks kind of silly. I've tried to do it before, so I figured just the two is good. Just a mirror. Your Sims can check out how good they're looking while they're cooking. And then we're just going to put in a little bit more junk. I was going to do a drink tray, um, but since I had to put it up with the Move Objects sheet, it probably wouldn't want to work correctly, so I ended up just getting rid of it. That's a salt and pepper shaker. Super fancy. Uh, I think that's from the Dine Out pack as well. And then, like I said, I am setting some random stuff off to the side there because I know that I'm going to want to use it in a few minutes. Uh, since we weren't able to do the pantry, I'm just going to put some shelves there, and we're going to make our own little decorative pantry with, you know, the olive jar, and the, I think that's supposed to be a jar of peppers, and the box of grains, rice, beans. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, but I know it's some sort of food thingy. So, you know, food in the kitchen is generally where you want your food to be. But that's about it for this. Like I said, maybe just one more picture since we're doing the sunny side up kitchen. We had to have the picture of the eggs. I mean, come on, those are sunny side up eggs with some oranges. Have to go in this kitchen. Uh, we're going to do a rug under the table, and then I think that's going to be about it. Oh, kitty, stop eating all my wires. He's so bad today. I don't know what has gotten into him, but he is just all over the place strider he is he's being a bad boy hopefully he'll calm down in a couple minutes thanks so much for watching guys have a fantastic rest of your day leave a like subscribe if you're interested there is no pressure to i'm just happy that somebody's watching this video but have a wonderful afternoon guys happy simming and i will hopefully see everybody later on thanks for watching